Hi, this is Lisa Nash from Learning Exchange. This screencast introduces Sora, a new mobile and desktop reading experience from Overdrive. Designed with students and educators in mind, it provides an enhanced access to Overdrive, our ebook and audio platform for our students. Schools can access the new interface in a browser at soraapp.com slash welcome, or they can download the iPad app for an iPad, the Sora app. When you come to the browser or in the app, you will need to find your OverDrive collection. Our OverDrive collection is called ASIN. If this is not showing up, it's as easy as going to not your school. And while you could scroll through the schools, quicker to go to my school isn't listed and just type ASIN. Then click on this is my school. Click on the drop down for the ASIN member collection. This signs, if you click on this sign in here, this will sign you in using your Google login account that we have for CEDP. If you're already logged in, then you'll go straight in to Sora. Sora has been designed with an intuitive design and it's designed to help improve and engage students with reading. So the first great benefits you'll notice is it's a summary page here when they get to Sora. So their home page is a summary. Down the track, there will be options to add reading assignments. That's not available right now. It gives a list of their loans and any words that they've recently defined as well, any, as well as any notes and highlights. New features like achievements and avatars are also available and they provide students with a more personalized reading experience and a better way of keeping a record of their own learning. So if you click on me, You'll notice that you've got this little avatar that you can change. You can also click here and add your own nickname. And it gives you a summary of your reading across time, as well as achievements. So it sends you little micro badges as you open books. Um, as you might have listened to an audio book or you've checked out something and it will run through those little badges and send them to you. If you do want to borrow a book then you can go to explore and you can either scroll through the books or go to the 4000 titles, look at popular subjects or you can go to collections that we've set up for our schools for example, the New South Wales Premier Reading Challenge. You could easily borrow that book or just read a sample. In this case, I'm going to open a book that I already have. And once you've opened that book, you can easily just read online. The good thing is too, that it still has all of the benefits that we've had in the OverDrive browser in that we can highlight text, highlight it and make a note about that. We can highlight words and define them. And again, all of those things will still stay attached to their account, each person's account, even when the book has been returned. So these are the sorts of notes and information that student can build up about their reading, which becomes a real learning journal of their reading for themselves and for teachers to have a look at. Also in terms of um, accessibility, you still have access to all the enlarged text, dyslexic fonts and range of other accessibility features. SOAR is going to be the recommended way down the track to access our digital collections. 
At the moment, we'll have two ways. We can go in through Sora or just through ASIN Overdrive. So try Sora out. Uh, download the th free app from the Apple App Store or try it in your browser at soraapp.com slash welcome. Each school also has the direct link to the Sora Welcome browser in the student ebook page on their e-library site. Try it today and enjoy your reading.